To make an EQ track, all you have to do is find a clip that you want and just drag and drop into the open area. You can see that it goes into slot A, but I already have some audio loops on the first four tracks. So let's move this down to slot C. Then I can just right click and clear. Now I can launch this clip by clicking on the play button. Since I already know I want things to go onto slot C, let's go ahead and right click and add some MIDI tracks. We're gonna click the box that says show on Q page. And let's do three more tracks. Now all I have to do is just find some more clips to throw in there. Now let's look at the chorus section. That one has a good ride symbol, so we'll throw it onto slot D. Then here's the bridge. And I can throw that onto slot E. And just like before, I can launch each clip by pressing the play button. Now let's add some percussion. I can play both of these clips by pressing QC, or I can hit the F3 button on the top of my keyboard. Now let's play row D by hitting F4. And let's play row E by hitting F5. Now that I have a few grooves going, I'm gonna jam along with my bass. So that is the basics of dragging and dropping clips, making new cue tracks, and firing individual clips on the grid, or launching all the clips on a row by hitting the Q button or using your F keys. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe down below and click the bell so you don't miss any future episodes in this series. And until next time, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and I'll see you in the next video.